Um, when I think of like uh, the Mondragon cooperatives and the other cooperatives in the Basque region, and I think of the Antigonish movement in Nova Scotia, and just in different times in history when we've had like kind of surges of cooperative development in a region, like to me, there seems to be like some kind of like cultural cohesion and some kind of enemy at the same time, like the Basque cooperatives, like against fascism, you know, like that seems to me very human, you know, like that, that, that people gravitate to belonging to some culture together. So I think religion makes a lot of sense um, to be something to organize around in particularly in regions that have a high concentration of a certain religion, right? Like in my neighborhood here, it would make sense for there to be cooperative organizing around the Islamic community here. It may make sense to organize around even more generally the black community here, like for self-determination. Like these are cultural cohesion, you know, these are ways to be, you know, culturally cohesive, right? Like and build tr and more easy to build trust with other people with right um you're starting with some kind of common values to begin with right um i do have some concerns about you know the idea of like specific leaders like not that it's always a problem but we've had problems with like charismatic leaders even in cooperative development kind of like you know, taking over, you know, um, steamrolling other people, you know, saying it's consensus or, or majority rules and then making the decisions themselves kind of things. Um, so, um, but we do need people who are good at mobilizing people, who, who people trust and, uh, and hopefully authentically trust for good reasons, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think we need that kind of mobilizing work. We need that, you know, like uh, Adrian Marie Brown's like phrase, you gotta move at the speed of trust, right? Like it's, you know, it, it makes sense that you would start with communities that already have some bit of trust with each other, you know? That's my, that's my thinking about it. Yeah, I think that I think it's like it's interesting how like even a, I think particularly in the left like the idea of needs um, I think a lot of times it leaves out the spiritual needs or religious needs whatever that is however you want to phrase it um, and yeah I, I think there's I think there's a lot of negative stuff that comes from that um, Especially where re religion or spirituality uh, contains a lot of uh, like practices and values that um, actually prevent harm and keep people together. And one, one thing that I see is uh, a lot of people constantly lost about how to navigate so many things that um, spirituality or religion actually has tried to, to solve and for some people that works and in other situations like nah we got to do things different um, but one of the one of the things that I think would enrich this conversation maybe another time is finding a, a way to define like or, or talk about all sorts of spiritualities to see like what sticks with people or I don't know about religion because all right so so a lot of people whom I talk to, I think whenever we think of spirituality and religion, and, and this is just one set of definitions, I know there's de definitely more. Religion, when we think of religion, we tend to think of like an organized hierarchy. Um, and by hierarchy, I mean domination, uh, where people with certain ranks dominate others um, who are of a different ranking, because that's how that system is set up. And spirituality tends to be more of uh, less, it's less, there's less or no domination um, and yeah so it, it would be cool to, to, to hear in the future somebody talk about spirituality and like different ways of in, in which it manifests because I think a lot of people probably are missing spirituality in their life but um, this kind of like a revolt that people have been experiencing against uh, organized oppression that 
in which religion or spirituality has uh, played a role has results in I think a lot of people just negating any type of this whatsoever and I suspect that a, a, a lot of important things are missing in people's lives and a lot of emptiness and then it makes us vulnerable um, to join this or that um, spiritual or religious uh, community or anti-community I don't know um, because we uh, we don't see the, po the positive possibilities that are out there. Mm -hmm.